Dang it! I didn't get a female for him. No! Oh man, I didn't know it was a male. Like literally, I did not know it was a male. And before you guys go, oh, you're a tarantula killer. Now, mature males, males in particular, they don't live very long. Male tarantulas, they live approximately, well, in general, a lot of the species, especially like baboon species, they only live for about two to three years. And three years is considered pushing it. So usually about two years. And after they mature, they only live for a couple months, the max. Even if you have like the perfect husbandry, they, they it's their nature. They're just gonna die after a while because mature males, once they mature, they, they're just out to breed. They just want to go out, find a female, have some babies, and just settle with life. And then after that, they're just gonna die. Which is also another reason why we shouldn't feel too bad. Yeah, I know we kind of feel bad as well, but not too bad if we pair a male and a female eats it because, I mean, they're, they're gonna die eventually anyways because they don't live very long and it's a very, very risky life as a male tarantula. But yeah, unfortunately, my character Caribana Versicolor, my only Caribana Versicolor. I had this when it was a tiny, tiny sling. I got it from my friend like two years ago, I think. And it just matured out and died. I didn't even know because it's always in here. It always hides at the back over here and never ever comes out. So usually he's at the back and I just toss in the food and he'll just grab it down here. He never comes out. So I wasn't able to locate its hooks, which I will show you in a bit. You see, it still has its water dish pretty full but I mean it died so I came over yesterday and I saw ants all over its body you see the ants have already like kind of hollowed him out look at that his leg the, 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 the joint over here there's like no meat the ants pretty much just ate whatever's inside of him and just left him as it is now but let me show you okay I was so hoping that this guy's gonna be a female because it's my only carry band of versicolor the antilles pink toe but unfortunately you know things just don't go as you plan and also I didn't know it was a mature male I wouldn't expect it to be a mature male because He's so small. He's literally only like three inches. Yeah, it's about three inches. And these guys get about five inches. And I know mature males are very, very rather small. They 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 don't get very big compared to the females. But I mean, it happens. <laughs> so over here, you can see this thing here. Yep, that is his hook. You know, mature males have tibial hooks, right? Where they hold on to the female, so the female cannot like grab them. I mean, that's at least what I think the function of the hooks are for. But let me just just get this one out and I'll show you there look at this that is oh oops oops where did the hook go over there check this out that right there guys that is the tibial hook really darn cool eh and I always thought the tibial hooks were hard no they're, they're, they're pretty soft you see you can you can you can bend it like a little squishy little thing let me just pluck it out for you so you guys can see properly I'm not gonna be preserving this guy because I mean there's no use preserving him so there is the tibial hooks if my phone would focus fine phone don't focus it should focus over here there we go so there's the tibial hook yes it's pretty long it's actually longer than I expected but I mean can you imagine this thing just this thing to hold up the female that's insane the female is like so much stronger and how does this thing even hold up the female? I don't even know but that's pretty cool I've never actually seen one up close like this because my other mature males that passed away I didn't actually observe it I didn't like take it out like this one and just take a look at it because I just never thought of that but today for this tarantula, you get to see the table hook, which is pretty darn cool if you'd ask me. So yeah, unfortunately, this guy turned out to be a mature male. Very, very beautiful. One of my more beautiful tarantulas. If I knew he was a mature male, I would have got him a female. But unfortunately, that was my fault as well because I never actually checked on him. But then again, he was always hiding and I didn't want to disturb him by poking him out. And also, his mole was in there with him, but then I took it out. And I didn't really bother to sex the mole because I actually... I actually thought that he was a female considering how slow he grew. He was not a fast grower and usually mature males like for example baboons, those mature males grow super quickly like I've had ones that even matured out within a year, exactly a year and this guy lived two years and he just matured out and I didn't even know but I mean it's just I guess it's part of tarantula life. But again, I feel bad because I didn't get a female for him. If I got a female for him, although I don't have friends who have mature female Caribbean versicolors, but if I did get a female for him, man, we would have gotten so many cute little avicular babies. Can you imagine little blue babies? Yeah, and these guys, they're super cool because when they are born, they are blue. Like a neon dark blue. I don't know how to explain colors, but they are a nice blue as babies. And when they grow up, they get this turquoise carapace. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's pretty dark. I don't know. Is it dark? Yeah, okay. Oh, what? You're back. 
This guy is back. Why are you back? And, and you brought your friend as well? No, not cool. Okay, back to this video. Oh, where did it go? There it is. But yeah, as adults, they get this very nice neon carapace. Carapace meaning tarantula head. Yep, carapace. And a pinkish reddish butt, as well as these nice brownish hairs on their legs. Pretty cool tarantulas, to be honest. It's pretty cool to see how as slings, how dark blue they are. They, they mature out into this. That is super cool and pretty interesting, if you ask me. But yeah, I mean, unfortunate that this... Oh. Oops, I just broke his leg. I mean, because he's dried up. You see, look at that, hollow. There's there's nothing in that leg. The ants pretty much eat everything. Yep, ants. Gotta love your ant cleanup crews. No, I don't really like ants. Sorry, Ants Canada, but I don't, I, I just can't keep ants because ants are like tarantula's number one enemy, aside from mold. But I mean, yeah. Okay, you can see his fangs isn't very big. Let me see if I could pluck out his fangs. I mean, because he's dried, the fangs should just like pop out. Um, Oh man, his legs are just coming apart. Ah, oh, why? Yeah, okay, I don't think I should take out the fangs because his legs are all coming apart when I'm trying to do this. Oh, I already actually got the fang. Woo, woo. Let me show you guys. Oh, his abdomen also came off. Yeah. Uh, ooh, look at that. It's hollow. The abdomen is hollow. Yeah, you guys probably can't see that. As <sighs> okay, everything's just falling apart. I mean, cause, cause this guy <laughs> is dried up and, oh, there we go. I've got a fang. Check it out. Even the fang, even inside the fang, that, that cavity over there, if you, I don't know how you call it, the capac- Stop dropping stuff, man. Sorry if I, I, I sound a little bit different cause uh, I'm, I'm having a cold, so yeah. Not very feeling well today. I thought of filming this because, I mean, why not, right? Just to show you guys. I mainly wanted to film this to show you guys the tibial hooks because that's also the first time I'm seeing one up close in person. But I mean, since we're already here, let's just see other parts of him. Woo, double fang. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Even the corpse doesn't want to cooperate with me. Usually, live tarantulas don't cooperate with me, but it looks like the corpse of a tarantula would cooperate with me as well. Uh, yeah, that is the end of this guy. Unfortunate. I mean, I'm not too bummed that he passed away. I mean, if I knew that he was a mature male, I already knew he would pass away, but I didn't know he was a mature male, so I didn't actually expect him to just die. When he died, I was like, oh man, what happened to this girl? Yes, I actually thought it was a girl, but then when I picked him up, I saw tibial hooks and I was like, dang it, I didn't get a female for him, no! <laughs> but I mean, uh, that, that that's just part of life, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, you see, he is pretty much just hollow inside. I've already mentioned that so many times, but I just wanted to show you. So pretty much, he's just a crispy little biscuit. Yeah, a crispy biscuit. And that is the end of this biscuit. I may actually keep this to show people in the future because I, oh man, what the? Alright, anyways, this is the perfect arboreal enclosure for juveniles or slings. Not, it wouldn't be good for slings, it's a little bit too big. But for juveniles, this is like the perfect arboreal enclosure, especially for avicularias, because there are cross ventilations like a lot. There are a lot of cross ventilations. And there is a nice little cork bark in there where they can climb up and web at the bottom, like what this guy did. And also, there's a nice little plant there for decorations. And also, I glued on this. this water dish which is pretty solid because I use hot glue so yeah but the only bad thing is you can't clean this you can like use your finger to scrape the stuff out and I don't know pour it out I guess yeah something like that but I mean other than that you just gotta top up the water every time it dries out but I will be rehousing a tarantula in here very very soon so stay tuned for that video so yeah that will be it for this video just to show you guys a mature male that I didn't know was a mature male when I thought it was a female and then it just passed away without me expecting it but I mean it, it happens if it's if you have a mature male and it dies don't get too bumped out because it's not your fault it's their fault. I don't know. It's their nature. Yeah, that sounds better. It's their nature. They don't live very long and can just drop date anytime because that is how God created them to be or how Mother Nature intended for them to be. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you liked it, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. New to this channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when another upload like this. I know it's not a very exciting video, but another upload like this will be uploaded. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.